It was a last minute decision to do this, and I don't regret the deviation one bit. After flying my Cessna 172 into Chicago O'Hare the night before, Diehawk 809901 O'Hare Tower 10507, only 27 left, clear to land. My friend Brandon and I decided to take off the next morning out of Chicago Executive Airport and fly the VFR Shoreline Corridor next to the Chicago Skyline, and we were not disappointed with the view at all. This route worked out well for us because we were making our way home to Texas from Oshkosh, and this will be a good hassle-free way of clearing the Chicago Class Bravo airspace while getting a spectacular view. Being pilots, Brandon and I both share somewhat of an adventurous personality, and with every waking minute that we are in the cockpit of an airplane, we try to make the best of it. We both have a very why the hell not mindset, so if we see an opportunity to do something out of the ordinary, we will do what we have to do to make it work, and we'll go for it. Much like our decision to get the advanced O'Hare experience the night before, and our decision to trace this beautifully famous skyline this morning. Executive Tower Skyhawk 80991 holding short of runway 16 ready for departure. Skyhawk 80991 Executive Tower, uh, left turn to the east, runway 16 cleared for takeoff. Left turn to the east, uh, clear for takeoff, runway 16, Skyhawk 80991. Transponder altitude, car beat cold, mixture rich, flaps are up, fuel selectors on both trims, except for takeoff, we're lit up. Ready. Got a long runway. Yes, we do. Throttle to full, green, green, green. Airspeed's alive, 55. 60. 65. Step on the brakes. Gear up. a boy. And Chicago approach, Skyhawk 80991. Number 8099 or 1, Chicago Approach, O'Hare Altimeter is at 3001. Okay, 3001, and uh, we'd just like to, if workload permits, uh, we'd like to request VFR flight following. We're going to chase the coast at 2,000 feet down uh, out of the area to the south. Number 9099 or 1, reset transponder squawk 5141. 5141 for 80991. Right, Shelfway 3118, 3.2 for 5,000. Onboard 3118, Chicago departure, radar This water is so blue, wow. Departure just 952,500 for 3,000, heading 150. Just 96, Chicago departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 4,000. I maintain 4,000, just 96. One traffic three miles northeast of position, Boeing 737, 3700 for 4000. Oh, one, uh, roger inside. Downtown Chicago. Fly over Navy Pier here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Fly Navy Pier. I'm gonna swing it out a little bit. Wow, this is amazing. That it is. That it is. Jet 104, descend and maintain 4,000. 4,000, Jet 104. You can see the runways at midway there. The two yeah, yeah. Southwest 2258, contact Chicago Center 120.12. 20 and 12, we'll see you at 2258. Life is short. 
Most of us spend a majority of our lives trying to climb the ladder of success, and we often forget to stop on the way up and take in the view around us. We fly because it's in the blood which runs through our hearts. It's our escape from everyday life, and it's definitely our happy place. Flying to us isn't just about getting from point A to point B in a short amount of time. We couldn't care less about speed. It's about exploring the world from an angle that most people don't ever bother to reach for, one nautical mile at a time. I thank God every day for blessing me with the privilege to fly, and I'm grateful to have the opportunity to share my love for flight with everyone around me. Flying along the Chicago skyline was by far one of the most beautiful flights I've made to date, and I do not at all regret taking an extra day to get home, all just to stop in Chicago to do this flight. Life is a special gift to us, so make it an adventure worth remembering.